Hello Spuds, how you doing? This is Froggy and today I'm bringing you the first in probably a couple of episodes, depending on what people want, episodes of Steam Guide. So this is just basically your guide to Steam. Now the first episode is going to be an update to my old outdated method of moving Steam games. So this is basically the way you want to do it. My old episode consisted of a few very complex steps and using MKLink and other things to really, 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 really stupidly move the Steam games and now Steam is actually updated to include this sort of thing into Steam itself. So, there we go. For one, why would you want to do this? Well, first reason is if you have an SSD. Really, really, really small SSDs is what's normal. 60 to 250 gigabytes is generally what you're looking at with with SSDs. And that's just too small to hold games. You know, I've got almost 400 gigabytes of games on my system. 400 gigabytes. 250 gigabytes is not going to hold that and an operating system and many other programs and pictures and music and videos and all sorts of other things. 250 gigabytes is not big enough. So, multi-hard drive setups as well is, is something that's very common. I have a multi-hard drive setup myself. This hard drive setup is a 500 gigabyte Western Digital Velociraptor. As for me, I use a 500 gigabyte Western Digital Green as well as a 4 terabyte Western Digital Black. Now, I use a Western Digital Green 1 terabyte, and uh, and I don't fill it up, so 4 terabyte is a bit overkill, but this is this is, this is is overkill, to be honest. We have Velociraptors, it's stupidly expensive, it's ridiculously fast for, a, for a, a hard disk drive. It's just not worth it, really, to be honest with you, it's not worth it. Um... If I was you, I would not go for a Velociraptor, for first of all, and I wouldn't go for a 4 terabyte hard drive, there's no point. But, there we go, this is the sort of thing you can look at, you know, 8 times larger, and even more, if you've got a 250 gigabyte, that's way more than 8 times larger. You know, and don't quote me on my math, my math is horrible, I know that, I, you know, I ha I've always hated math, I don't like math, I don't like doing it, it's, it's terrible, I just don't like math. I do like it, no. So let's uh, let's just let's just move along here, shall we? Let's just let's just move along. Here's another reason: if you have got two PCs, PC to P, and Skype has come up again. This actually happened in the video before, and that's why I got rid of it. That's that's you know what? I'm not getting rid of this video. Skype. I'm turning off notifications. I hate it when Skype does that. It does it in the middle of games as well. So anyway, you've got PC to PC setup. So, say this PC is your holiday home and this is your normal PC and you want one hard drive to go between them. You know, you can install Steam or install Steam games to an external hard drive and you can take that to your uh, to your homes. If you're like me and your parents are split up, I have one computer at my dad's and one computer here, and I could just as easily have an external hard drive to go between the two. So that's another reason you might need it. Friends. Yay, friends. Now, if you're like me and you're a nerd, you probably don't have got many of these. But the ones I've got are pretty damn good friends, so uh, I'm happy with what I got. Anyway, moving on to friends. Okay, so... With friends, you may be tempted to pirate. As for me, I, uh, I, ha I don't pirate games. Uh, every game I get, I get on Steam, and I don't pirate them. Uh, there is a reason that I don't pirate them is because I don't believe it's right to pirate games. I believe it's okay to trial them if you're going to don't going to pirate anything. You know, I I generally. I don't care if you pirate, you can pirate as much as you want. I don't give two craps of what you do. But as for me, you know, generally games will produce trials or test runs of their game for you to just find out what it's like. And that's a good thing. And if it doesn't, then I, I believe it's okay to trial a game. I will, I will say that, but don't condone piracy. It's, you know, you're just taking away 
someone else's income. You know, what it, what would it be like if someone, you know, if you owned a store and someone shoplifted every day? You know, they just took everything they needed for that day and they come back the next day and took everything they... You know, your store's going to fail and you're going to be pretty miserable because, let's just face it, you need that money to live. Same with developers. Developers do this for a living. This is their job. You pirate their game, you're taking away their living. Simple as. But, you know, whatever. I don't care what you do. Do what you want to do. Not up to me. So, the steps you want to take. First of all, you want to make sure that you have optimal space. So, this is your boot drive. This is, for me, is my 500 gigabyte drive. Ignore this. This is my uh, backup drive. The reason I blanked everything out is for my my purposes, my reasons. I wanted to black them out. I don't care what you say. I don't care if there's any non... Or I don't care if there's no real information that anyone could use there. I blacked it out anyway. And here is the other storage drive as well. So here's the storage drive, here's my one terabyte drive. So you want to make sure you have optimal space. If this is your boot drive, this is your SSD, then make sure that on your storage drive you have enough space to hold your games. As you can see, I've got about 400 gigabytes worth of games on there. So next is you want to open your Steam library. And just, uh, just to zoom in on this part up here, okay, over here, right there, you just want to make sure that your Steam looks like that, so that you can uh, you can follow along without any troubles. On to the next step. We want to right click a game. Okay, so as you can see down there, let's just zoom in. You can install a game. Okay, so you want to click on the install. Now there is actually a step five here, but uh, I didn't bother putting it in, in as a slide. I just decided to show you. Why not? Okay, so let's just zoom in on there. Okay, this here is where you want to install to right now you can create a new steam library on a different drive and this is where it's important okay so say your c drive is your boot drive and your f drive or d drive or e drive or z drive whatever you've named it your other drive is going to be your you know, one terabyte drive or two terabyte drive or however many terabytes or gigabytes your drive is, that's going to be where you're going to want to install all your games. Okay? So as for me, it's my F drive. So I just select the F drive, okay, and then install the games to the F drive. This takes them away from your boot drive and it makes it so that your SSD doesn't have to hold 400 gigabytes worth of games you know it's it, it makes it easier so that is your final step after you've done that your steam games are now on your separate hard drive on your external hard drive whatever hard drive you placed it on your steam games are now there congratulations if you have any questions please place them in the comments section I wouldn't mind a rating if you don't mind p placing one, yeah, so uh, do the rating, the commenting, and all the other good stuff that you guys do, and I'll be speaking to you later. Thank you for watching, this has been Froggy Gamma, because I can not spell, I'm horrible at spelling, and instead of spelling Gamma, I spelled Gamma. So, there we go, Gamma. Gamma, 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 Chameleon, I can't mean good. I'm going to go now.